A little about me, my name is Jose. I have a day job. I'm a penetration tester. <laughs> yep, every time. <laughs> what my job is, I, I hack into computers and I tell companies how I do it. Uh, there's a shorter version of the title called Pen Tester, but in many ways I feel that's worse. Because it sounds like I go to your company and I'm like, this one works. <laughs> this one does not. Yet. This one works. This one's a Sharpie, not sure what that's doing. Not a lot of Latinos in tech, uh, especially in my industry. So whenever I do go to job interviews, people are a little bit skeptical. They give me that look, that, that look that says, really, you? So I own it, I go with it. I'm like, yeah, it's me. <laughs> I'm here to do the hacking. <laughs> Full disclosure, already tried to get on the Wi-Fi, couldn't do it. <laughs> you guys are crushing it. Uh, no, I, I uh, had these inconsiderate neighbors that are always blaring music. And I would tell them to stop, but they're like legit gangsters. They got the gangster bronze, and uh, I don't. <laughs> but what I do have are a very particular set of skills. <laughs> skills that make me a nightmare for anybody with Wi-Fi. <laughs> so every time they blare their music, I hack into their network and I make their printer print penises. Because <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> the first time I did that was great because they're so loud I could hear them talking about it. So I guess one of the roommates walked in and saw the stack of dick pics. And he just yells, he's like, Hey, Steve! I think our printer's gay, yo! <laughs> Why is your printer a man? <laughs> Makes no sense. We did this so many times they ran out of toner. Yeah. They got on Amazon, they ordered two ink cartridges, black and magenta. So I canceled that and swapped it out for two dildos, black and magenta. <laughs> And I used to wonder, what did they do when they got there, right? We're like, well, printer, if this is what you want. <laughs> it turns out these guys were meth cooks. They were cooking meth. And they got raided by the DEA, which was fucking amazing, right? Because, like, all these agents swarmed the apartment. Like, they're taking out biometric flasks, equipment, chemistry, the printer, stuff sticking out. It's glorious. But then I was like, what do they do with all those dick pics, right? I see an agent walk out with a huge clear plastic bag of shredded documents. And I realize those are the dicks. They've been shredding them. But the reason that's amazing to me is because I know it's someone's job down at the station <laughs> to reassemble shredded documents. <laughs> so you know, that guy's like, finally, Chief, something for me to do. <laughs> what was the first? Nah, I don't wanna get into it. I'm just gonna get through the whole bag of evidence. It was a bag of dicks, sir. Right? <laughs> And that's, that had to have been an amazing interrogation, right? Because like, they probably got my neighbors together and like, look, we get the meth. But what's up with just a collage? <laughs> oh, you know, our printer's just gay, officer. <laughs>